Hello and welcome to the Build with Bear Workshop. My name is Pat Bear. Uh, if this is your first time watching, if you're watching on YouTube later, here live, watching on uh, on Twitch, uh, this is a show where I build model kits, Lego sets, uh, lots of Gundams, some Dragon Balls uh, here and there. Um, oh wow, uh, I am having bad uh, frames drop here. Um, that's weird. I've been, been having good internet all day. So I apologize if folks are having some issues watching live. Um, uh, the recording won't be affected by it, but um, yeah, I've got some uh, drop frames there. Uh, if you're watching live in the chat, you can throw the Bear Cave emote in there um, and let me know you're here. Uh, we've got some emotes for, for folks in the chat. L let me know what's up if you're watching live. Um, I hope that everyone is having a good day here. Um, not seeing anything in the chat show up when I throw some emotes in there. So we'll see. We'll just consider this extra testing for today and see what's going on. Um, yeah, usually I have no drop frames. I don't have any problems uploading. Um, maybe it's the heat. Uh, maybe there's something with my internet, although it's, like I said, it seemed to be doing fine. Uh, I was streaming, I was watching some stuff earlier, and no problem at all. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, yeah, so I'm not seeing it the chat um, in my dashboard, but in the regular stream feed, I am seeing it. Uh, I did have a good fourth isk. Also, hi, isk. Good to see you. Uh uh, thanks for joining Lashbrook, throwing up the Bear Cave emote. Appreciate that very much. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, my regular chat is not showing up, uh, so I apologize for that, that folks aren't seeing me there. Um, yeah, and I've had some drop frames, and that's a, a bummer. Hopefully everything will be cool, and you'll enjoy it. As you can see, uh, <laughs> I didn't realize until right when I was setting up that the yellow... Oh, hey, Waffles! Okay, that's showing up. Twitch might be having issues, it, uh, ISK, I'm not sure, but you're now showing up in my dashboard, which is easier for me to use because it gives me more information than if I just have my Twitch chat open. Um, we don't have much of a delay on these, but yeah. So uh, I'm sorry if this is choppy or weird watching live. Um, uh, I'll make sure that, uh, that on Saturday I like cycle my modem and do all that. Um, but yeah, if it's uh, if it's shitty for you to watch live, I apologize. Um, hopefully, because I'm not doing like 60 frames a second video of uh, a video game, it won't be too tough for folks to kind of uh, push through it. Um, but because I've yeah, haven't had this problem in a while, um, quite some time. So yeah, apologize for that. Also, go shout out to uh, Will uh, Smith who is uh, hosting the stream. Thank you, Will. Um, yeah, I had a good 4th of July, folks. Uh, we're waiting for a few more, see a few more folks join us here watching uh, the stream before we start building. We'll give it another minute or two. But I'll say that uh, I did have a good time at uh, 4th of July. I went to a friend's who I go to quite often. Left before the fireworks started because I was not feeling great and didn't feel like just waiting for the fireworks, which I've seen a lot. They're good. They're good. Queens does a good job of fireworks, but didn't need to see it. Uh, all right, let's go to the main feed here. Hopefully a few more folks will join us as we go. I'll probably put another tweet up there to say that this is happening. Uh, let's go to the main feed. Here we go. So we're still working on our Y-Wing. We've done most of the Y-Wing. As you can see, here's our big old Y-Wing looking real good. Um, doing its thing. Uh, got some missiles on the bottom there that I put in. That's a later step. But I figure I put them in now. You can lock them into place. You can see that here in the main there there's uh, missiles there for me to play in I got the landing gear down we've got the uh, we'll, we'll see later the bombs that can be dropped and this thing that's meant to like restock things which is kind of fun put that aside there as well and then we're working on yeah our pods on the sides of our y-wing um, we got to build those got to build it out I hope you're all doing well um, if you're working on, as always, if you're working on stuff, painting stuff, doing model kits, there is the Discord. I'll mention the Discord in the middle of how you can join the Discord, talk about, uh, show off the stuff you're building. Um, but also, you can always tweet at me. I love retweeting folks when they're telling me about the projects they're working on. It makes me very happy to be able to be like, hey, 
this is what people are doing that like what I do. Um, it's rad. So feel free to do that. Um, always interested in seeing what y'all are working on. Because, uh, you know, uh, right now these days, I'm just working on these kind of kits, right? Uh, model kits and, and that. I've got another Gundam that I purchased that's coming in the mail. And I've got another Lego set that's coming in the mail. Um, because, oh, I'll say this. So today, after we finish the Y-Wing, we'll start on the transport pod, which I have here. Lego transport pod. Uh, that's the next thing we're building. But that's going to be pretty quick. That's uh, 294 pieces. That's going to come together pretty fast. So once that's built, I'll do a poll for my backers. Unless someone sends me something for my Amazon wish list, then it'll jump the line. As always, um, uh, I mentioned it. It's in the show description here on the YouTube archive. It's in uh, my Twitch information, as well as I will tweet it out in the, or link it out in the middle of uh, of the stream. Usually an hour in, I promote what's going on with me um, and mention how if people would like to, they're more than welcome to support the stream vis-a-vis -vis buying stuff from my Amazon wish list. They don't have to, but they can. And I always jump the line on stuff that people built. Uh, you may remember that I bought uh, some weird kits. They were McFarlane toys. They're weird like knockoff Legos at Toys R Us right before the Toys R Us that was closest to me closed. Um, I purchased those and I'm saving those because I'm going to try. Uh, I'm going to try my best to um, be able to uh, stream from San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, that's my goal is to be able to stream and do like, even if it's an hour, do a stream for y'all. So I'm saving those kits because they're easy to move. Uh, Mr. Bob. Hello and welcome, Mr. Bob. First off, hi. Second off, Mr. Bob says, Pat, live action Gundam. It will probably be bad. Last week replies, more than likely. And I am in total 100% agreement with y'all that a live action Gundam could be very bad. I'll say this. Sometimes live action is not bad. Ronan Kenshin movie, not bad. Uh, Initial D, live action, not bad. Um, I didn't see the Netflix, uh, 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 what's it called, uh, Death Note. That I heard was bad. But maybe this will be great. Uh, uh, $15 movie ticket to see quality CG colony drop. Yeah. I keep thinking of the image of a dude going, oh, a Gundam, while the Gundam shoots the message, war is bad over his head. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know about a live action Gundam. Um, we're going to talk tonight a bit about, uh, we will at some point probably go into it. Uh, we'll talk anime. Uh, I watched two episodes of new series that premiered. Uh, so I'm excited to talk about those two new series. Um, we will talk about a trailer that came out for a series that I am now very interested in that doesn't come out until the fall. Uh, and we'll also talk about, uh, oh, the hello, the hollow and welcome. We'll also talk about, um, what happened today of, uh, giantbomb.com's own Jeff Gersman and, uh, Dan Reichert were guests of Crunchyroll for their, like, expo thing they they're, they're not in anime expo they have like they basically rented a venue right near it and they're doing like all day events they're basically doing like ea play but it's an anime uh, convention so they're doing their own thing and they had uh jeff and dan come on and the idea of the panel which I, i'm gonna say very smart idea for a panel they had jeff and dan on uh and they showed them a bunch of clips that people submitted of anime uh, that they could watch, that maybe they would like. And they did a good job of a few things. They showed a few clips that, like, really got Dan interested, which I, I was happy about, uh, like Black Lagoon. I think the hollow, I think overall, some of the clips were bad. Like, they were bad clips. Like, Gintama, there might be a chance that Jeff would be into it. But... Um, but that clip was bad and wasn't going to make them do anything. Uh, the clip was clearly for Dan because it was the Rocky theme, which I get. 
But there's a version of that show you could there's a clip you could show them that they might be into. Uh similarly, uh that's a bad JoJo clip. Uh I submitted a JoJo clip uh from Star Crusaders that I think was a far better choice, which was uh shooting the button uh through the head of Forever the Gorilla. Uh the, sorry, the orangutan who was uh <laughs> yeah. Shooting, shooting forever, uh, that way, and, and like destroying him. Uh, to me, that's a way better clip because it's just complete and utter nonsense. But yeah, uh, yeah, the JoJo clip wasn't great. So some of the clips I think weren't great. I also think that, although I do really hope that Jeff watches it because uh, I know that he does like Slice of Life or is at least interested in Slice of Life. Uh, the clip they showed of um, Laidback Camp, I don't think was the best choice. I submitted a Laidback clip. Um, uh, Isk, yeah, Isk, um, that panel was was probably not designed for you if you're not really into anime. I think, uh, for me, as someone who watched almost all of the shows uh, showcased in that, I've watched almost everything they showed. For me... Uh, I was like a hundred percent totally on board with everything that they were showing. Um, and it was like, sometimes we'd be like, Oh, that's a good idea. Or that's a bad idea. Or that's not really what the show is about. It's just a wrestling clip within a show that isn't really about wrestling, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but if you don't have an interest in those shows, that panel was probably not really interesting. Uh, but I was going to say, so they showed a clip of layback camp. Um, and it was from Room Camp, which is the after credits short jokey panel thing that they show after most episodes. So it's not really indicative of the show, but it is cute. Um, so I was happy that they showed that. The clip that I submitted um, for that panel, uh, for Laidback Camp anyway, the, I, I submitted three clips. Um, a JoJo clip, which was the or, orangutan. Um, I submitted a clip of, uh, laid back camp, which was the clip was, um, everyone had, uh, shimmerin buns. They had the bun. They all got their hair done like Rin. And then, uh, she, like, uh, she wants her hair to be like, uh, Rin as well. And then she gets a big cactus head, um, and is like, wait, what? And they take a photo and it's just cute because it showcases like, one of my favorite parts of layback camp is like, obviously the camping is really cool, but I don't know how you show that in 30 seconds, but the camaraderie, the friendship of that show, them all being together, all five of them and with their teacher together at the end, I think like that clip is just them being silly and fun. And I hope that that was, I hope that that sold the show enough. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if that did it, if that, uh, if that did it for Jeff, but I hope it did. That, yeah, I don't, I've never seen that show, that anime, but make anime. Uh, I mean, to me, even something like New Game, a show about making video games and the passion that people have about making games might appeal to them. That's obviously Slice of Life office environment show, but it might be something. Uh, uh, so, Mr. Bob, I'll say this. If you go to uh, Giant Bomb on Archived, they captured the stream so you can watch it if you want you know obviously you don't have to nobody you know i'm not saying like oh it's a must watch it was kind of fun and as an anime fan and a giant bomb fan like i had a good time watching it um but i understand if people were like nah nah on that but i yeah i had a good time watching it all right let's get back to building some stuff here um and the clip i said that they didn't use that I thought Dan might like is Gates. There's just a clip of a soldier shooting a bunch of knights with a with like a machine with a semi-automatic rifle, just like taking out knights really quickly. And I thought Dan, I think Dan would really like Gate. Uh, I think it's just enough anime bullshit, but has some cool, lots of cool guy stuff for Dan to be into, like jets taking out uh, baby dragons. Like fighter jets taking out baby dragons. That's some cool guy stuff that I think Dan would be real into. Um, 
Oh, you saw it live. You just don't remember all of the names. Yeah, I'm sure that someone did a write-up of all of it uh, for you to be able to check out. Um, I do want to see that one about anime. Yeah, I'm not surprised the Hollow that they did do, didn't do any Fist of the North Star just because I feel like that is kind of cliche. Um, so maybe that's why they didn't do it. I don't know for sure. Oh, I could have done. But I did uh, overall... Uh, I thought it was kind of a fun panel um, as somebody that like knows a lot of those shows. But yeah, I think Dan would really like Gate. So uh, that might be just something I recommend to him anyway. I don't want a Dan to see come to... I just want him to know who Char is. Okay, that Gundam clip. Like, I understand that that Gundam clip is fun in the world of Gundam. But like, if you're really trying to get them to watch Gundam, like that's not... That's not the clip you pick. Uh, that's a fine enough thing, and like, yeah, you pick a you pick a clip of Duo Maxwell blowing stuff up in the Death Scythe, and then maybe you get some people's attention. Uh, but yeah, um, overall thought it was kind of cool. I think yeah, there were a couple duds, but um, but yeah. Uh, uh, that wing clip should have been of the lady throwing a dude out of a plane and then shooting him anyways. Yes. Yes. Just, just complete and utter non sequitur nonsense. Uh, also, I do think that, like, I was bummed about the Gintama thing. I know that Dan really likes, uh, obviously, obviously... Dan really likes Rocky, but, like, that was just a bad choice of a clip. There might be... Like, also, I think... I think Gintama makes so many parodies of anime that it would be hard to watch if you haven't watched a lot of anime. I think it doesn't work <laughs> as a show. Like, it was just, like, a bad choice, but whatever. I was happy there was a laid-back clip. I was happy that there was uh, a Black Lagoon clip. That was a thing that, you know, I do think Dan would be really into Black Lagoon. Um, what's the other one that with a J? Jormunch, uh, something there? There's another show that's kind of like Black Lagoon um, with a child soldier and like a really bizarre lady in charge. I don't know. Uh... You submitted... Oh, Death and Res. Also, hi, Death and Res. It's been a little bit. Um, uh, you submitted the uh, the Epo clip, but it wasn't the bear fighting scene, though. Yeah. Uh, or even, like... I don't know if Crunchyroll has World's Greatest Disciple or World's Strongest Disciple, but I could see, like, both those dudes being into that. I don't know. Anyway, anime. Who even knows, right? Okay, so... We got to pump this in here and then just pop it in and just clip it together. I could see this coming apart very easily. This part popping off pretty quickly, but right now it looks pretty cool. So I'm not complaining. Um, we seem to be settled a little bit on frame rate. I apologize for the drop frames. As I said, uh, that's very odd. Uh, I'm not really sure what was what's going on, but all right. And now we're gonna finish it by connecting these. Whoops, missile already fell. I'm gonna take these missiles and put them aside. All extra pieces at this point. I think we got like one more thing to build here, and then we've got a bunch of extra pieces, which is great. As you know, it's great to have extra pieces. That there. And we'll just put our extra pieces here in the bag. I apologize if uh, you can see the sweat on me. It is uh, warm in this room. Um, I have lots of bright. I have two very bright lights on me to keep the uh, green screen working properly and make sure this table is lit well. But yeah, I pay for it in bright. Light kicks up a bit, a bit of heat in here, so I apologize uh, if I'm 
looking a little shiny. Um, but yeah, I was happy with that. I was happy overall with the panel. I thought it was kind of fun to have to have them go through and experience that. I think it was just kind of cool. All right, so that's the end of that. Those are the end of our pieces here. Uh, last thing we gotta do is put in the bombs and I'll attach our or attach these things here, and then good to go. So, um, there's always a missile launcher in these in these kind of kits. They shoot off the front. This one has a, a bomb thing in here. We drop in there, and then you crank, and then you drop the other bomb in there. And they have extra ones as well. We'll put this on here, and then can show you. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is pretty cool here. So, uh, by cranking the bottom here, I can drop the bomb there. I'll do it one more time. From the bottom. It's pretty cool. That is a, that's a pretty fun feature of this kit. Um, so I'll load those up. I'm going to actually pop these out because there's no reason to keep them there. But yeah, that's our Y-Wing. I'll get a good photo of that to go up in the uh, in there. I'm going to cough. Pardon me. <coughs> mm. um, yeah, and then there's lasers that shoot out, or missiles. And that's it. That's our Y-Wing. That's a really cool looking kit. Uh, I've, been, I've been eyeing it for a while. I was really psyched to pick it up. Um... Uh, we'll take a photo of that at the uh, after the stream is over, and then I will put it in the bag. I reached out to people that won uh, kits at last week's stream, which was the end of the month. Oh, I should mention this. Um, so it's July, and uh, I'm going to do two hours. I am now officially always doing two-hour streams. I did it for every stream in July, um, just as a, like, uh, thank you. You know, it was my birthday month, kind of celebrating, kind of pushing the Amazon wish list, pushing the... The subscriptions, pushing the Patreon, all that stuff. But um, I'm going to keep doing two-hour streams. Y'all hang out with me. You're all ready for it. Um, Drop-off numbers don't happen as is. As as long as I keep going, y'all are with me, and that is fantastic. I really appreciate that a lot of you folks watch the whole two hours or watch an hour and a half or watch an hour. Um, That, that rules. So we're going to keep doing two-hour streams. Uh, the board just subscribed to our power. That's six months for board, Ming. Thank you so much, board. Really appreciate that. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, if you use a, if you use a, a Twitch Prime. Um, oh, let's talk about that. As we get the box open, we're going to start uh, noling uh, our, our next kit. Let's go to the photo of it. Uh, this Rebel Transport here. Um, so, I'm going to put this on the floor. Oh, hey, be careful, Y-Wing. Be cool, Y-Wing. Down on the floor. Ah, all right. So, while I start knowing this, uh, let's talk about how it is time for you to get Twitch Prime if you don't have it. If you have Amazon Prime, get Twitch Prime. Even if you don't use your to even if you don't use your coin for me, because you get a coin that acts just like five dollars. I get the same cut I would get if you spent r r actual money. Even if you don't do it, even if you use it for someone else, just get it because uh. This month, uh, we're leading up to, in the middle of the month, uh, Amazon Prime Day, which is a bunch of sales that Amazon does for, for Prime stuff. And leading up to it, Twitch Prime is legitimately giving away a, just a ton of games. Now, it's it's for the Twitch game client, which isn't it, it works as fine. Just like, it's like the itch client or anything else. Um, and so it is PC only. So this doesn't help you if you're a Mac uh, viewer or if you watch only on your phone. That's not going to help you. But if you have Twitch Prime, if you have Amazon Prime, get Twitch Prime. Do it now. You're going to get a bunch of cool games. I got Battleship Brigade. I can't wait to play Battleship Brigade again on my PC instead of the Switch. I'm excited for that. There were a bunch of games that are like no-brainers. There's some that I've never heard of. I'm getting them. Maybe they'll be bad. Maybe they'll be good. I don't know. Uh, so I'd highly recommend that. And then, of course, hey, if you got Twitch Prime, you don't see ads. If you watch streamers that run ads, uh, you get to see the stream. Oh, hey, uh, P. 
be a warrior just subscribed that is two months using their twitch prime two months in a row thank you so much for that let's throw some bear cave emotes in there uh and if you if iron souls was here uh we we could see the uh the lego emote which right now iron souls and me those the, we're the people rocking that but yeah thank you so much for doing that i really appreciate it but yeah i highly recommend that um if you don't have uh if you don't have it already uh, get Twitch Prime because it's just going to benefit you um, in the long run. And then, yeah, then you get a free token every month that you have to auto uh, renew yourself. It doesn't renew. Uh, it doesn't auto renew, so you have to do it yourself, but whatever. Help out a streamer like me. I'm a streamer, as you know. Uh, so that's what I wanted to say about that because um, I think that was really important that people know that good deals are happening. And they should get on board with some good deals. All right. Um, so let's talk about the uh, as we start working on this. Uh, the official name of this kit is the Resistance Transport Pod. It's it's cool. It comes with Rose and Finn. I got a Rose figure now. I'll, well, I'll have a Rose figure once we build it. That's cool. I've got plenty of Finns because I've been kind of going hard on these kind of Lego sets, but. Excited for that. Um, okay, so let's talk about anime. Now, Crunchyroll, as mentioned, they're announcing a bunch of stuff. And there's even more things are coming out. Um, this summer season seems n kind of uh, a lot. There's like a lot of shows are coming out. Whereas last month felt like, last season felt kind of dead. This one feels much more active and alive. So I'm excited for that. But it means there's a lot of shows. So first, we'll talk about a show that got announced. It's not coming out into the fall, but I'm going to watch it. Uh, and that show is called That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. The name of the show is That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. Uh, and... <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, Pia just got a call tonight to pack for a trip. Just wanted to stop by and resub. Hope you have a good night. Thank you so much for the resub. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, enjoy your packing and your trip, of course. Um, but yeah, so it uh, they didn't do they didn't go into a lot of detail about what the show is, but it looks to be one of those things of like a seemingly okay, a good dude. Uh, I dropped a piece here, so I'm looking for it as I talk. Uh, seemingly good good man died and then got reincarnated as like all right I dropped the piece but I can't see where it went so we're not gonna worry about it we're gonna hope there's an extra piece for it and if not we'll know what piece we lost it was tiny uh, we dropped a tiny piece so hopefully that tiny piece will be able to uh, make do without it um, quick of the scanning the floor I don't see it okay well hopefully it'll turn up um, okay, anyway, so, just looks like, yeah, nice guy gets reincarnated as a low, lowly slime, and adventures ensue. I don't know, it sounds interesting to me. It's coming out in fall season, so I don't know, that was kind of just like, oh, that's something to be interested in. The second show, uh, so two shows came out, one came out today, it's a Thursday show, so, you know, I'll be checking it out on Thursdays, that's, you know, that's good to have something to watch on Thursday before, uh... Uh, I stream another one. I think it's early in the week. It might be a Sunday show. I'm not sure. Uh, island. A uh, person washes up on an island, has no memory, except that information like knows a couple names, believes they're there to kill someone and save someone, and they w wash ashore on a mysterious island where there aren't uh, where people. Um, don't get to move there. Like, it's just like a set thing. Like, he's unwelcome in the community. And it's a mystery. And I made some assumptions about some things that I don't know are true or not. And I don't know. I'm interested in Island. Right now, it's kind of grabbed my attention. Uh, it's just saying you've gotten into Overwatch esports. God help you. Yeah, God help you. I mean, I don't have much of a problem with it. I just have no... I have nothing to say about it really I don't know I hope you like 
Overwatch and like watching the esports. If you're in, if you're watching, I hope you're into it. Um, so Island seemed cool. I'm uh, I'm definitely gonna keep watching it. Um, it just depends on how they're unfolding the mystery, right? Because there's also like they're young kids and there's school stuff and there's some weird characters, and so I'm not sure how it's gonna work out. Uh, and there were some, like, boob jokes, and I was like, okay. <sighs> but overall, I, I want to give it a shot. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, oh, Isk, if you bought Team Hats, yeah, you're you're invested. Now, you've picked a team that you want to root for, and you've bought, like, merch for that team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are um, a lost cause. Good luck. I hope your team does well. Um... Okay, so the other uh, show that I watched that I got to look up the name of it was... Oh, yes. How Not to Summon a Demon Lord. So, I know that this show is for me because all my recommendations today in YouTube, every time I refresh recommendations, another clip of that episode, of that series showed up. I haven't seen anything from Island. I haven't seen anything from the sports animes. But the videos I watch, apparently, everyone knows that I, w I need to check out the video of this anime. That it would be right up my alley. Uh, so I'm not... I do know what that says about me. Uh, it means that I am a sucker for woke up inside a video game or woke up in another fantasy world with information that other people don't have. I really like that genre. And it's trite, and this show seems trite. Basically, there was a guy so good at video games, so good at this MMO, um, that people like mistook him for like a character in the game. He was so good at it. And so he gets summoned into like the fantasy world version of the game that he had played. And of course, he's an otaku. So of course, he doesn't know how to talk to girls. And there's a well-endowed elf. And so goofiness ensues. And there's a cat girl. And it there's a part that's not cool at all. And if, if you watched that part and you were like, I'm done, I would totally understand. Uh, I'm bummed. But I'm also interested because he's level 150 and it, apparently it was a very big deal for a, a person that was mad at him to summon a level 30 thing against him. And he was like, N no, sorry. So I don't know. I do like an overpowered main character. I do like the idea of he's in the body of the demon lord, the character he played, and he's really only comfortable doing that. I, I think if they keep with that. And keep having the thoughts in his head. Because that's the thing that Overlord doesn't do. Um, that Death March kind of forgot that it was an older guy living in a in a young person's body. Um, uh, that he was like in his 15-year-old self, basically. If they keep reminding us that this otaku like isn't cool. And isn't aggressive. And is only comfortable when he's shouting things as this character... That might be interesting and might make it more worth uh, people's time. But I do know I'm going to watch it. I'm just going to watch it. I really like the genre. I really love the like. I love. Look. He's, he's, he's got a ring that means that magic that's used on him directly on him bounces back. So the two girls tried to summon him and instead he became their master. And like. If other people start want, are going to try to mess with them, it's just going to blow up in their faces, literally. And I'm really just... I like that. And I know it's lame. But that's that's some of the anime I like. So... Uh, I'm not saying you should watch it. But I'm saying... Especially since there's so much stuff coming out. But I am saying I'm going to watch it. Um... One thing I'm not going to watch is Angel of Death. Uh, the sounds like the schoolyard. Yeah, they have a magic ring that bounces magic back. Yeah, look, it is. It's over. It, the whole genre is overpowered characters. Like, the main character is too strong and too badass for this world. Um, I 
like that. I don't know. I like those anime. Um, uh, one show I'm not going to watch because I watched this trailer is like Angel of Death. I was like, no fucking thanks. Some girl like chasing, like she's trying to like escape some sort of like dungeon, like level dungeon with different uh, serial killers on each floor. She's got special abilities probably. I was like, no thanks. That looked not cool. So I'm going to not watch that show. But yeah, uh, those are the those are the two anime. One the trailer that I saw for the fall that I thought was looked cool, and uh, the two shows that I've watched. More shows are going to come out every week. They you know obviously staggered a bit, um, so there'll be more stuff to watch. Uh, Overlord I think is this weekend. I don't know for sure. I'm excited for that. That's probably the thing I'm most excited for. Uh, I am also looking at that. Uh, the cells in the body anime. I don't know if the art style is going to appeal to me, but the um, I like the concept of like a city in your body and the white blood cells and red blood cells and all the other parts of your body like fighting infection and stuff. That looked pretty cool. So I'm going to at least give that a shot. Cells at Work. Yes, that's the name of it. I'm interested in Cells at Work. Uh... Yeah, so there's a there's a volleyball, and then there's a what is it? Is it badminton? I don't know. There's two. There's two sports anime that are all girl sports anime that that are coming out the same season, and I'll take a look at them uh, only if people are into it. Because like, oh, badminton, badminton. That's what it is. Because like folks like, you know, look, I've I've watched the volleyball animes. I've watched the basketball animes. I didn't really like any of them. I just didn't. Uh, they never really appealed to me. I like team. I like getting better. I like, you know, I like natural talent anime stuff, but it just, none of those shows really appealed to me. So I don't know if I want to watch an anime about badminton or an anime about beach volleyball. I don't know. All depends. Especially since there's so much stuff coming out. That I am interested in. So many. I listed them. I'm going to go see if I can find where I listed. Oh, people are. Uh, oh, no. That's somebody, somebody just wrote a silly thing at me. And I was like, no. Oh, I want to say this. Look, a few of them are funny. But, like, if I could get, if I could get YouTube to stop sending me things about abridged. I'd be so happy because I am not like I want to watch clips of the anime I like not clips of people making fun of it. Okay, so here are the shows that I here are the shows that I haven't had first episode yet that I'm going to watch. Cells at Work, Yuna and the Haunted Hot, Hot Springs, uh, The Master of Ragnarok, Chio's School Road, like and and Overlord. Uh, those are all, and then also want to keep watching How Not to Summon a Demon Lord. And keep watching uh, Island for now. That's a bunch of anime. And that's not all the anime, obviously. There's stuff that's coming out on Amazon that I didn't even mention. Because I haven't even looked to see what's coming out on Amazon, I should say. That's like a lot of anime. Uh, well, Crunchy, so Board Crunchyroll announced that there is a third season. They just haven't announced the details yet. A lot of times the deals they make, now I, I'm no expert, so don't quote me on this a lot of times the deals they make they can't announce it until right when it's about to premiere um they did but they have announced they have a deal uh they just haven't announced like when it's coming out which i guess is, they just can't do until right before it does but i believe it is coming out very soon um but they do uh there is a on their website um there's a list of all the shows and like tra links to trailers and stuff. But they have announced they have Crunchyroll. So that's coming out, um, I believe, this weekend. I thought it was going to be last Sunday. And I was bummed when it wasn't. Because that is my most anticipated uh, series. Because the, the second season just got better by the end. And I'm, now I'm looking forward to seeing where that pays off. And what happens next. And 
introduction of some maybe some characters that might actually pose a threat. Who knows? It could happen. All right, so we're working on our pod here. It's pretty simple, standard stuff. There's nothing complicated about this. Uh, other than missing a piece here and there, uh, I do love Lego in that it is, it's just about like, oh, did I, did I not put something where I was supposed to? But like, not like, how does this fit together? Like, it, you know, it makes sense and it works. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of anime stuff out there. And then as the seasons go on, feel free to let me know if there's something you're watching that I should check out. I know that like um, some of you recommended uh, that show about the gangster and the alien that I, I tried. I tried. I just couldn't get into it. I wanted to like it. I really did. I just couldn't couldn't like it. Um, but I did I did try that show. Uh, the starts H A M Hamaratsu something like that. Uh, yes, board. Uh, Sebes the Sebes the butler the gentleman butler is like the fucking best character. So that's why the second half of the season rules so much because he's just awesome. Uh, it's just cool as hell because he's cool as hell. Uh, yeah, I tried it. It just didn't like, like a, a clip that they showed, they showed a clip at, uh, at, for, for Jeff and Dan today. And it was the swinging around. I'm so happy. We have weird faces. Oh, I hit your leg into a wall. Now you're in the hospital. Like, there's just a bunch of jokes like that, that I know, like some people really liked. And I just go, I don't, uh, I don't, I just. No, I just wasn't into it. Cause yeah, not everything's for everybody. There's stuff I watch, I talk about here that I know that people have watched and they're like, meh, no thanks. You know, things I, I really loved. I totally understand why they wouldn't appeal to everybody. It takes all kinds. All right, and then I need two of these. Okay. Okay. Flip that over. Comedy is very hard. Um, I think that I like, and I often will say that I like weird more than I like ha ha. Uh, no, the hollow, the hollow, the hollow. We'll talk a little bit about comedy, but I do want to jump in on that. The hollow says, "Don't hate me." Uh, but laid back camp wasn't free. I get it. I mean, there's an episode, a laid back camp, where a lot of it is texting. Like, I get that that's not for everyone, that this, the laid back nature, the fact that it is a slice of life that is just about camping and solo camping and group camping and like being psyched about going to a store that sells equipment, like camping gear. Like, I get that. That's not for everybody. Um, I totally get it. Uh, I just, yeah, I really dug that show, and I understand why it's not for everyone. But, yeah, um, yeah, I understand. I'll, I really love Slice of Life. I really like, like, there's a part of me that just really digs soothing anime. Like, the fact that there's a little bit of scary stuff in um, uh, How to Keep a Mummy, but really, it's not until the 11th episode that there's any drama in the show. And most of it's, like, pretty chill. And it's just about, like, cool weird things showing up like i i love it hmm sorry this uh i may have put the wrong piece somewhere here no i didn't it just didn't look right okay it's right okay um we did it all right so that we did that go try not to sweat on this instruction manual that's rude be rude to send that off to somebody and there's all my sweat on it uh yeah i love slice of life it's my favorite genre i think more than anything else so a good slice of life show i'm totally into i mean i watched comic girls which wasn't great but it was a slice of life show and i really enjoyed it uh because yeah it was just like a very cool show and uh, also, uh, uh, Love is Hard for Taku, which I really got into and was really fun. 
That's a romantic comedy show, certainly, but also pretty slice of life. Uh, I also feel like I have to be a little tired for that anime style, and a dub might work better for me. Okay, yeah, that might be. Uh, to me, it's it's a pretty rejuvenating kind of thing of just like, like the biggest conflict in laid back camp is it takes a little while for Rin to want to camp with other people because she's so used to solo camping. Like that's the big, like getting her to do the camping trip is like to go on this group camping thing is the f biggest problem of the show. Like the biggest problem they conquer is like, well, maybe Rin won't want to do it. And then they're like, oh, she's going to do it. Cool. Spoiler alert. She does it. Uh, and it's just like, I don't know. Sometimes I just want that. I want that in my anime. I want characters to like each other and respect each other and have fun. And like nobody hates anyone in laid back camp. And that's just cool with me. Uh, all right. Need two of these. Yeah. And they also respect each other's philosophies and points of view. And I think that's awesome. Uh, you watched it all, though. Yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> when Nadesco is sick and there's the whole, like, homemade uh, uh, soup uh, thing happening and then her parents come in and her parents are both just like her and her sister is clearly the odd person out. Like, that shit got me. I really loved it. There's a bunch of stuff in that, and that that episode particularly is just really funny and cute. Uh, but I was saying that like comedy is hard, uh, especially for for anime. I think that like there are funny shows, but I'm also like I usually kind of prefer like weird over like just trying to be hilarious because it's hard. It's like hard to appeal to a lot of people uh, with comedy. Not everybody can do it. It's a very difficult thing. Um, but I do appreciate folks that, you know, try to do funny shows. Um, how do you feel about info dump? For me, it's the surest way to get me to nope on a show. So I don't mind an info dump. That's just like, Hey, here, here I am talking to you. I'm only going to do this right now. There's just a thing you need to know. Like, context. Here's a little bit of context for what we're going to do. Because I'm we're not going to spend the whole episode talking down like talking down to you. I don't like a lot of info dumps. But I, do, I don't mind, like, in the first episode. I'll give him the chance to be like, hey, you, you don't know what this is. Here's some information about it. Um, it's got to be done well. If it's that, like, it can't be that, like, uh, that style of, Here's the character that shows up just to tell you what's going on. And they're telling another character something they already know because you don't know it. Like, I don't I don't love that in anime. I don't love that in video games. I don't love that in books. I don't, you know, that's the, to me, that's the laziest shit is when it's like, well, you know, as, as you all know, students, the, uh, this thing is this thing. And everyone knows that. And it's like, nah, 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 get that out of here. Um, I don't need that. Uh, info dump stuff is usually bad when it's a character clearly explaining something that's common knowledge. Yes. Yeah. That, I hate that. When they're like, you know, like sometimes they'll do something like, well, class, uh, so who could tell me about the Great Blank Wars? And then someone will say like, uh, the Great Blank Wars were this and this, this, and this. Because we're about to see a reenactment of that vis-a-vis -vis the whole show is actually taking place there because the character who is napping in class is going to go back in time and experience it. So it's a good thing that our coach, that our teacher made us, you know, say out loud what happened in the Great War. Uh, that shit, yeah, that shit sucks. Um, I will say this. I remember at the time uh, watching um, 
or you know playing through Persona 4 when they go to the other school and they meet all of their characters basically describes a plot point for like the special ending and I was like oh that's cool the first time I played I you know played this I didn't recognize that's what they were doing and the second time I was like oh they were like foreshadowing it just felt like a weird part of the game it's still a very weird part of the game but yeah when they're just like Hey, here's some stuff for people that watched previous of this. Um, oh, the Hollow says false. Uh, 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 episode one starts with a cool-looking fight, but then it goes to a school and involves someone explaining the entire war and backstory over like five minutes of proper nouns, and I forgot everything by the end of it. Wait, I remember Holy Grail War or something. Yeah, that's tough. Well, also, like, hey, The Hollow? Uh, I can't explain to you anything about Fate, the Fate series. There are, like, eight of them. And some of them are continuations, and some of them are retellings. And then, like, one of them is all the characters in, like, a theme park fighting, like, version it's like a goofy, campy version of it. Like, I don't know. I can't tell you a damn thing about that series. So I think an info dump is probably necessary. Because there's a lot going on. I know some people that love the Fate series. They love all of it. Trace on and all that. And hell yeah. And uh, whatever the guy's name is. And good job. And But fuck if I know anything about that show. Next to nothing. This piece is rubber, and that's weird. Usually don't run into rubber pieces. So that's kind of interesting for a Lego set to have rubber. There. I'll put that there. Uh, it's not tied to the other series. Okay. Sure it isn't. Guess what, The Hollow? It probably is. But even if it isn't, they are probably not telling you stuff about certain characters because they think you've watched the other ones. You know, like, that to me happens a lot. Where people were like, oh, well, if you played this thing, or if you watched this thing, you'd know. And I'm like, I didn't, though. So, so don't assume that I did? I don't know. I'm probably being overly harsh on the Fate series. I just have no idea what's going on. And there's so so many of them. Uh, Fate Zero was... First step was even worse. Two characters literally walked in circles for 10 to 15 minutes with the details of the plot. I mean... And also, there are people who are watching that going, yes, tell me more. Oh, they're revealing a thing they never said before. Oh, my fan theory was right. Like, I'm sure there are people that were salivating over that episode. And good for them. If they got to see a cool thing that they love, I'm psyched for them. I'm so happy for them. But, like, I don't fucking know. All right. Um, so this goes in here. How does this go? Wait. Let's just go like this. That don't make no sense. Okay, it's a rocking thing. All right, I'll find out more about that soon, I'm sure. Can put more pieces on here. We're getting through bet. There's only three bags of this, so we'll get through mo. We'll get through a lot of this uh, in this stream, which is good. Um, I'll have to run another poll soon. For what I build after this, because if we don't, we won't finish this today in the next hour, but we'll probably finish this on Saturday. So I gotta pick the next thing that we'll build, get a poll going. Uh, I'll talk about polls a little later. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not a lore junkie myself. I do like to to kind of like figure things out as they go. Um, I am a watch again person. I do like to watch series again, looking for those like foreshadowing moments and be like, oh, I do like that. When well, you're like, now I get what that was talking about. They were talking about this character. Um, like Island, I'll probably watch again once I'm done with it, because if the mystery turns out to be good, I'll want to like go back and see the clues. Like right now I have like no spoilers, obviously, because it's a mystery. I have an opinion on uh, a particular character, and that could certainly change 
as the series goes on, because that character, you know, as I get more information about the mystery, uh, I'm sure my opinion will change. Hmm. How do I do this? Okay, good. Uh, with more information, but yeah, I I don't I don't hate a good mystery. I like a good mystery. So, uh, Harold is hosting. Thank you, Harold. Appreciate it very much. Um, all right, we're gonna finish this bag up. Then we will do uh time to talk about ways that you can support the channel and all that as we finish up this bag. We will get into the many ways. Um, I will start by saying, uh, as I do this right off the bat. Uh, one of the best ways you can support me is to become a subscriber here on Twitch. Uh, $5 a month. You can use your Twitch Prime coin. If you have Twitch Prime, you link your Amazon to your Twitch. You certainly could do that. Or you could spend $5 if you want to do that as well. Um, that's up to you, obviously. Um, but it... Uh, oh, you can't hang out. Uh, Board, I'll see you on Saturday. Thanks for hanging out now. Thanks for uh, resubbing. I really appreciate it. Uh, talk to you soon on Saturday. Well, we'll keep working on this kit and start something new, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, one of the ways you can support is by becoming a subscriber. Um, I am an affiliate here, so I get a 50-50. I do a 50-50 split with Twitch, um, and that's very nice because uh, uh, it means I don't have to beg for donations. I certainly uh, will take them, but I'm not here all the time asking for them. I have a certain amount of income coming through this officially through Twitch, which is very helpful. Um, Alright, we're going to finish up this one step here, and then I will uh, move on to talking more about ways you can support the streams, if that's something you'd like to do. Harold, hello. Thanks for joining us. Um, looks like our drop frame problem is is kind of gone now which is very good that that was an issue that we were having hopefully that won't continue and i apologize for that i will do a complete like you know like flushing restore thing refresh thing on saturday uh, as i set things up just for safety's sake um all right so we we're gonna know back to here um but you know right now we'll take our break to say a few things um uh, other than following me here, if you'd be more comfortable doing it on Patreon, if you follow a lot of people on Patreon, uh, you support people on Patreon, and that's where you would like to be able to do that, you can do that for me. $1 a month to get a Q&A video I make, um, as well as announcements I make about like the first people that found out when my uh, game stream will be, my bonus game stream, which is June 20, July 27th. Friday, July 27th from, 8 to 11, from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time is my uh is gonna be my games thing i'm gonna do a friday night one on the july 27th that's me announcing that i announced that to my patreon first uh so that's patreon five dollars you get videos early ten dollars you get to vote on what i do next i'll have a poll up um amazon wish list that jumps ahead of the head of the line past the things i've i let people vote on if you are thinking about like oh i wish this thing i wish you built this you could tell me through Twitter, through a message here on Twitch. And then I would go add that to my wish list and be like, hey, I put it on the wish list. And then if you uh, see something on there you think would be really fun for me to build, I constantly update it. Sometimes things go off of Amazon Prime. I try to keep them on Prime, but uh, I constantly put new things up there for you all to check out uh, to purchase on the wish list because that would be cool. Um, and then... Uh, this kit I bought with money out of uh, the Ko-Fi and uh, my uh, Twitch uh, income. So that's a way to support me is to uh, do a one time there. If you're just like a tip, hey, here's five bucks. Here's four coffees. Thanks so much for doing this. That's one way to support. And then, of course, cheers here on Twitch. You could always do that. Um, I'm not, I don't really push cheers, but that's certainly something you could do. I'm going to take a drink of water. Pardon me for a second. It is very sweaty here, so I apologize for needing that water. But got to keep myself hydrated. It's good for you. If you haven't had water today, if you haven't stretched in a while, 
do do that. You could do that now. Now might be a good time to stretch it out, get things ready to go. But yeah, those are those are the that's the ad break. Oh, and the Discord. I think on Saturday I didn't list the Discord while doing this. I'll put it here. I got a Discord right now. It's uh, some people showing off stuff they're working on. It's me showing off stuff I've worked on. It's uh, me promoting stuff. There's a space for other people to put in there. Like Harold puts uh, links to his streams there. Uh, you're certainly welcome to come use it. If you like what we do here, you're more than welcome to join us. Um, and yeah. Uh, uh, all right. So now we're going to, we're going to know bag two. As always, we know our bags ahead of time because other than just being in a big pile, it's way easier to find things when it's open. I'm going to try to open this away from my mic. Get some exercise, friends. You'll be in a better mood. Yeah. You know, and uh, keep it light. You know, you don't have to hurt yourself because obviously that's not going to help your mood if you're hurting yourself. But there may be, this is actually a good, better size bag. So we're going to transfer because we're our BB-8 and our extra pieces. Always keep the extra pieces because you never know. You might need them, but I can push that aside. Put that in the trash later. Put that aside. We got some decals. Nothing yet that we need because we're still working on our base and building out. But eventually we'll hopefully uh, our, uh, our, our um, sponger will work well for that. Moving some stuff around. And then we're using the, uh, from our last kit, we're gonna use that because this kit did not come with a, uh, a tool because it's small. Smaller kits often don't come with tools. And now we're just gonna separate these pieces and just yeah, we're just gonna null because it's a lot easier to find pieces when they are at least by color organized. Uh, as always, we got our light gray and we got our dark gray. We got our two grays. A lot of this is Star Wars. There is a lot of gray, a lot of shades of gray. We also have these clear uh, uh, blue pieces that they're not heads, but they, they look kind of like heads. That's weird. They look like, uh, you know, the same thing as, as our uh, mini fig heads. So that's weird. But I really like this clear color. This clear blue is very cool. It pops pretty good on the, on the stream. Orange also looks pretty cool. It's a couple little orange pieces there. But yeah, mostly gray, gray, brown, and black. That is what a lot of our color sets are going to be. Um, Mr. Bob says, I have built some pork chops. That sounds awesome, Mr. Bob. I, uh, I was all set to make uh, some pasta tonight. I've got some ZD. Uh, shells ready for me to and some sauce ready to go. I was gonna stop get some meats and then I got hung up uh, via the subway and suddenly it was 5:45 and I wanted to be home at 6 p.m. in order to eat uh, Eastern time I should say in order to eat and uh, uh, watch um, live the uh, Crunchyroll panel we talked about earlier. So I just went to McDonald's because McDonald's got me in and sitting down at 5.58. So that wasn't the plan originally, but I got some good McDonald's, so I'm not complaining too much. I had some nuggets and dipped them, and that was great. And then I got 10-piece, so I got one barbecue sauce, which is enough for the 10-piece in my opinion, but for me anyway. And I also was able to get uh, a ranch that I dipped all my fries in. And that ruled as well. And everything was hot, and I was very happy with it. I don't eat McDonald's that often. There's one near me. Uh, I avoid it. I think it's like maybe once a month I hit McDonald's. Uh, I'm, I don't think against it. I'm just trying to be better about when I'm home at least eating well. Um, when I'm at work, I often just get whatever's convenient, and that's not always good, but it's fast at least. But yeah, so that and having Domino's on Saturday. Although, as, as I said, the Domino's I had on Saturday was completely necessary considering that weekend, uh, Del Close Marathon, the improv marathon that I was working on uh, and managed this little stream during. Um, I earned that uh, that <laughs> that Domino's takeout. It was a good price and it was great. Tasted awesome. 
Uh, yeah, I deserved that. Comfort food. Sometimes you just gotta go with comfort food. I'm gonna get a slice of pizza uh, after the stream. I'm gonna go out and get a slice. My neighborhood pizza place is too good. It is excellent. So I'm gonna go and get a slice of pizza after this while this uploads for the YouTube. And my Patreon backers who didn't watch it live will be able to watch it tonight and everyone else will watch it tomorrow. Uh, I did uh, my, end my stream early on Saturday. Uh, so I'm definitely going to do the full two hours tonight. Um, I just kind of got loopy. I was starting to say sentences and forget what I was saying towards the end of the sentence, which is not, if you know, you know me, uh, I sometimes like my train of thought, I lose my train of thought now and again, but I was losing my train of thought like constantly. And so I ducked out early so that I could go to bed at a more reasonable time last week or Saturday. Because I had to wake up, I had an 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. shift, which um, isn't that big a deal. Except that that is not when my body wants to be awake. Um, I wake up at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Because I go to bed at 3 a.m. Because I work until midnight or 1 a.m. I'm often home around 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. Uh, Wednesday nights I'm home the latest. Oh, of course, I didn't work yesterday. Not of course, but I didn't work yesterday, but... Um, it is, uh, yeah, sometimes I just, like, I'm fine with getting up early, but I try to, now and again, just kind of break from being forced in the habit of, of always being up, but, like, yeah, I just needed, I needed more sleep uh, this weekend. I did not get it till earlier this week. I had a very light work week this week, and it ruled, um, of course, like I said, I worked on Saturday. and don't, don't really work on Saturdays. Worked on Sunday. Then I was up a lot. Did not work on Monday. Worked on Tuesday. Went in early on Tuesday. Fixed a big old problem on Tuesday that happened. And uh, then on uh, then it did not work yesterday. So my work week was a lot lighter than normal. Which is uh, I am not complaining about. Because I'll make it up. Uh, I, I don't know how to describe the problem I had at, uh, so, uh, someone who doesn't normally work at our theater worked at our theater and shut down the light board, uh, which was good of her, but shut it, she turned it off in a way that I was completely unsure of how to fix. It basically, like, it acted as if, um, it was like, like a power surge happened or something. It was turned off in such a way that when I turned it back on, the light board uh, should remember a bunch of information stored locally. Uh, so it didn't store that the information that was stored locally wouldn't load. So it acted as if I had never used the light board before. Meanwhile, I have shows coming up. I, I need the light board. I need lights to work on a stage. Um, the venue that I work at does not have uh I should say, um, wait, oh, why did I do that? I did a weird thing. Uh, the venue that I work at does not have like work lights. It just has stage lights. So when the stage lights weren't working, it was like, oh no, what do I do? And I got to work, figured it out. I had to call, I, I had to call the manufacturer uh, helpline and get some assistance. Luckily they were, they picked up right away. Someone was able to help me right away. Uh, I had to like, just like basically inform it that it, where the directory was, which I've never had to do before. And I was very nervous about, but it all worked out. Okay. But I was freaked out. Cause I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess we just don't have shows tonight, which is a weird thing to say. And I'm very happy to say everything worked out. Okay. Uh, the Hollow says, I remember reading that some nocturnal people might have been descendants of hunter-gatherers who stayed up at night and watched over the group safety. I mean, that's totally true. I definitely was a morning person at some point. I remember I used to get up early, you know, or hours, a couple hours early for school. This is high school, so that's like getting up at like 5 a.m. I would get up at 5 a.m. because I wanted to do a bunch of stuff before I got to school. Because uh, obviously, I, not obviously, but... Um, I was an internet kid, so I wanted to, like, get on the internet and, like, check my message board messages, check my emails, 
do all kinds of stuff. I want to do all kinds of stuff before um, it was time to uh, go to school. Because, you know, before smartphones, so you couldn't check messages. Like, I'd go to the library, but a lot of stuff was, like, net nanny, so I couldn't check certain message boards because they were uh, no good. Couldn't go on AOL stuff, obviously. Um, okay. I think that's everything I need for this. We're just building some gears. Uh, doing the show with the flashlights. Yeah. I mean, everything worked out, but there was a period there, Mr. Bob, where I was pretty nervous that things might not work out. Happy to say they all did. Yeah, I just had to, like, change a setting and then, like, restart everything, and then it all worked out. But I was very nervous that things were not going to work out. So, very happy when they did. All right. And then this goes on here. Okay. Oops. So, when this is more secured, it popped off. But when this turns, this turns. These are all connected here. Um, and obviously, well, it's going to have to get more stable so it doesn't pop away. But that's interesting. Okay. This is cool. It's coming together well. Some interesting doodads and uh, some interesting uh, mechanics to this build. I do appreciate that when LEGO sets have some kind of stuff. Like, obviously, uh, the Y-Wing only really had the bombs dropping. That was the only, quote-unquote, trick to it. But I do like that. Uh, the Hollow says, I did a 10 p.m. till 6 a.m. sleeping for years and was always tired when I switched to 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. sleeping. I had more hours of energy overall. Yeah, I mean, some people are just night owls. Um, I, you know, plenty of people that just are completely shocked when they hear when I go to bed and how long I'm asleep for. They're, they're blown away by it. They, they kind of can't believe that that's how I live my life, but yeah. That is, uh, that's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm, uh, you know, what I'm doing now. And then this goes like this. Okay. And this goes on here. And we'll see if I want to go like this. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm a night owl because of, also it's like, hey, I get home at midnight or 1 a.m. I'm not immediately going to sleep. I have to like decompress. And sometimes I have work I still have to do. I have emails to send or maybe I couldn't reply. Like people people often send email during the day. So I'm, I try to be available during the day, obviously, to reply to people. But sometimes people wait until night when they get out of work. And that's when I'm at work. So I can't always reply to emails like while I'm doing other things. So then I'm catching up when I get home and then waking up to them hopefully responding and they're like, oh, that's so weird. You send an email to me at 1 a.m. And I'm like, it's not weird for me. It was after work. I sent you a, ma a message after I was done working. It just so happens that's very strange for folks because they are not used to that. You know, we push back now. We're, you know, we're doing 9 to 11. I could do 10 to midnight as far as streams go uh, without a problem. In some instances, it might make more sense to do. I, you know, certainly been thinking about maybe doing that. I, I'm not ready to do that yet, but I have contemplated doing the 10 to midnight, and it wouldn't really affect me because I am 100% used to being uh, to these late streams or being up, you know, and being awake. Saturday might be a little tough only because uh, I'll be catching up. Uh, I'll be probably tired a Saturday night, but I don't know. I like right now. I like nine to eleven. I'm not. I'm not necessarily thinking about that. I gotta change the times. All right, we put a decal on. Came out pretty good, I think. That looks pretty good. So put that on here. But yeah, I'm certainly always open to it. Uh for sure. Retail workers who do shifts where they close the store, then open the next day, have it rough. Yes. Harold says 12, 10 to 12 wouldn't work for you on Thursdays once school starts. That's totally reasonable. And I understand that, uh, Harold, you know, as, as a Floridian, you are on the East Coast, obviously. Um, 
And uh, that is the problem of going later is that I run into that sometimes I might be streaming too late for my East Coast friends. But uh, and then I have to kind of, you know, match that up against people who uh, are on the West Coast. And, you know, if I start here at 9 p.m., that's 6 p.m. for them. That might be a little early, whereas 10 and 7 might work better. Um, but obviously, uh, I'm trying to, you know, uh, make sure that everybody gets to watch, especially certain people like yourself, Harold, folks that have been um, supporting me since day one. I certainly want to want to make it so that you couldn't ever watch the stream live because of your, you know, sleep schedule. Uh, I wouldn't want to do that. Um, I've also like jumping back to the Patreon thing. I mentioned, you know, the, the one of the things about the Patreon is. Uh, I'm trying to get to $150 a month. I've been struggling to get there. Where I'm always around 100. Like someone will drop off, someone will jump on. It's I love all the support. I'm so appreciative that I can even reach that amount of money. That's so awesome because it really does support what I'm doing here uh, to allow me to keep going. But one of the biggest problems is that uh, it's just uh, if I hit $150, I can stream three times a week and I'll do a. Uh, uh, another stream during i'll do a stream during the day which i really want to do for folks that work at night there are some folks that work at night that watch the streams later and then i have some folks that are uh, in europe and would love to watch and they like uh, our friend johnny uh, smash mouth smash mouth only watches when uh smash mouth has insomnia when he's really like not in a good mental space uh then he's up at a weird hour and can watch i would love it if he could just like if the monday stream was just like because it was the afternoon he's just able to watch it because it's on at a good time like that that would be great um i would love to appeal to more international folks that way and at least once a week have a stream that's good for them uh as a streamer i know what it's like to juggle time to please your audience yeah uh we need to befriend a rich oil baron yeah um I mean, I'm I'm trying to accommodate folks. Uh, like, like obviously, you kept pushing this time back. One of the one of the reasons why we went, uh, we started doing 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, or it's even starting at 9 p.m. was simply because I started noticing that at nine o'clock, if when I was doing eight to, uh, yeah, when I was doing eight to nine thirty, I noticed that at nine o'clock, a lot of folks were jumping in to watch, and. Folks that would have been eager for me to keep going, but I couldn't keep going. So I'm thrilled to have a time slot where more people are able to tune in. That 8 o'clock was just too early for folks. And I understand that. And maybe even in a perfect world, I would, I would have the discipline to be able to handle three hours of streaming and building and start at 8 and so for early birds to be able to catch up too. Uh, or folks that you know, couldn't handle, could, couldn't hang late, would be able to watch some, but, um, that, that, I'm doing my best I can with the schedule that I have to accommodate and be able to showcase for most people as much, for as many people as possible, I want to be able to, them to watch the streams, that's why I, I always, I have the archives, everything that I stream goes up on YouTube, it's available on Twitch, and sometimes, uh, you know, gets taken down on Twitch, because I'm not a full partner, so I can't keep full episodes up, for that long but they're up for a while and yeah and i put up a, a high quality version like uh, i record a good version of this show um for folks to watch on youtube you know and sometimes i only get like you know 15 views on a video and that's fine because that's 15 views i would i wouldn't have gotten if i hadn't put it up so happy to people watch that um one thing i'd like more people to watch is uh let's pat let let Pat play my my series of uh, Let's Play videos. Uh, if you ever come across one you really like, share it with someone. I'd like to get those views up because uh, that's that that's that's really fun for me doing that. Um, I may look at Battle Chef Brigade now that I have it on uh, uh, through Twitch. Now that I have the game, I might look at that um, next Monday. I'm not sure, or I might do another episode on. Uh, Syrup, which is the uh, um, visual novel point-and-click adventure that I started recently, which was made by the same person that did uh, the uh, first kiss at a spooky soiree. Nom nom nom. 
Nom Nom Nami is the name of the person. So I mean, uh, I'm I'm excited to play more of that. But I was also thinking I might showcase a little Battle Chef in case people haven't played Battle Chef, and it might make sense to do that timely because it's still available here. I dropped a piece. I found it. I'm gonna pick it up. We did it, or I did it. I don't think we did. It. I did it. All right. Take a little more water here. I don't disagree with you, the hollow. Uh, that there, you know, there's a competition as well. Like, obviously, some of the competition is very good, and I don't mind it. You know, uh, I have friends who are like, oh, I'm going to watch your stream until this person comes on, and then I'm going to go watch them because I really like them. And uh, I do try to find time where I'm not going up against other people. Like, it, my afternoon stream that I'm going to add, that's going to be on Mondays because I. Honestly, we'd rather do it on Tuesday, but I don't want to compete with folks that watch Giant Bomb Podcast live. And that's not a huge number of people that also would watch this instead, but it's enough that I'm like, eh, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to, I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to make sure I'm accommodating people that want to watch my streams, but I'm also trying, I'm not trying to do myself a disservice. We did that early stream because I knew a lot of people that were watching were going to want to watch the last night of Giant Bomb's E3 coverage because the th that Thursday night is a lot of nonsense. So the Hollow, I understand. Yeah, you want to like uh, you want to support more people. It adds up. I agree. Um, I have thought like I sometimes I only give a dollar to someone on Patreon um, because it adds up and does help. But I wish I could give more. But I'll do like the three dollar level. So at least I'm helping some I'm engaging somehow but it's it, I, I know it's not enough but it's it's the best I can do at that moment um because like yeah because I can't do more there's only so many people you can give a bunch of money to I support a friend at a high level because of the work they do um but I only really back one person at the high level uh, so these are mines or, or something or other. We're going to put them in there. They go in this little hole there. That's fun. Um, we got one decal we got to put on. So we'll get the pieces we need together for that. Almost done with bag two. Definitely going to have to put a pole up because I didn't think this kit would... Like, we're not going to finish it, finish it. But we're going to get a bunch done. Um, and I did not think we would get that far with this kit. Uh, in two hours. Um, all right, so that's gonna go on there. It's gonna go there. Right, we'll do. We gotta put a decal on. Okay. But yeah, it adds up. Um. And uh, I, I, you know, I'm never upset when people. I'm disappointed when people drop, you know, my Patreon or they don't renew or uh, you know. Uh, here on on Twitch and you know like my numbers right now are always between 17 and 23 subscribers which that's good numbers you know I mean I am uh, about a year into streaming uh, started in July um, actually I'm gonna look up the date because uh, I, I knew it but um, I uh, I've been streaming for about a year now, and so, and you know, I've been an affiliate for less than that, but not much less than that. I've got affiliate pretty fast, so I uh, would love to uh, to be able to be like, oh yeah, I had uh, this happened and this happened, and like, I'd like to build it and get more people watching and do more things and uh, and and really build the stream out. Um, this is okay. Yes, yeah, so the twentieth of July. July twentieth was the first time I streamed the Build with Bear workshop. Build with Bear workshop number one. It was an hour, uh, and uh, yeah, for a while there, I was just doing hour long streams, and then we started like doing an hour and a half streams pretty fast. My first bonus was in September. Uh, I did a bonus game stream where we played Hearthstone. I play a lot of Hearthstone, uh, and yeah, it's uh, it's been going um, for quite some time. 
But yeah, uh, July 20th was the very first Build With Bear workshop. You know, it's this month. Don't think I'll do anything for the year anniversary because, you know, we I really pushed June, but I might push uh, the Amazon wish list a little harder because the two hour stream thing does go. We go through kits faster, right? Um, if we worked an hour and a half today, we would have stopped. We'd be stopping right now, right? And so we'd have a whole bag of this kit to start um, on Saturday. So it, it uh it does add up to needing more kits uh, faster, so I'm gonna have to invest some some money in in a backlog again. But yeah, if you ever see anything on that wish list, you think, oh, it'd be cool if Pat built that. Go for it. <laughs> it would really help me out. But I also understand, yeah, people, like money's tough for a bunch of folks, especially in the summer. That there's stuff people want to do. Um, and uh, and yeah, they can't always throw a throw a, a th buy a thirty dollar model kit or something like that. I do try to have a few low cost things in there. You know, they're small, but they're they're not expensive. I do like to do that now and again if I can. Uh, the Lego set that I bought that I just bought it's coming tomorrow. Um, was uh was inexpensive. It was like a really good deal. I was very surprised. So that's awesome when that happens. I do try to look out. Sometimes if things look really on sale, I'll just get it, you know, just use it with the money that folks have been generously enough to give me in the past. Um, all right. So we're going to put our rockets here. These are rockets. I didn't realize that's what they were. That makes sense. And then we got some extra pieces that we'll put it together put in our bag here and yeah if there's anything you want to chat about tonight we talked about anime we talked about the uh, Dan and Jeff at the anime expo a crunchy roll thing um, San Diego I'll say that San Diego Comic Con uh, the hollow you should respect Canadians, folks. Yeah, of course. Uh, that's that's. I mean, you should always be repping. You know, if you want to rep your country, you want to rep your city, want to rep local. Like, totally understand that. Totally respect that. Like, yeah, it's not silly. I don't think at all. Um, but yeah, if you want to promote Canadian streamers, like, yeah, throw your money towards Canadian streamers. I get that. Um, yeah. So San Diego Comic Con. Uh, I'm very excited to go. Um, I am trying to figure out some way to be able to stream while I'm out there. Like I said, I've got these little kits, um, these little, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, I've got this small kit from uh, Steven Universe that I got at Toys R Us. Try to open this here. Okay, great. Uh, from Toys R Us that I've been eager to put together. Uh, they're very simple little things. So I'm bringing those out with me to because they're easy to make uh to sorry they're easy enough to put in my suitcase so the idea that i can just um you know throw that stuff in my suitcase and then bring that out there and if i build them i build them uh, i at the very least when i'm out there um i will we will not have a regular thursday or saturday stream i might do something i'm hope at the very least i can guarantee you two things one i will do a live check-in with y'all where I will just stream. I will give as much notice as I can that when I'm doing it, and I will just stream and say hey, and kind of talk to y'all about what's going on with me. That's gonna happen. Um, might be from my hotel room, might be from uh, a corner of the expo. I'll do that. I'll do a hangout. You can tell me about what I'm missing in anime because I'll be behind at that point, I'm sure. Uh, and we'll just kind of like hang out and, uh, and talk while I'm there. I'll at least do that. And then I'm also going to do my damnedest to do a, uh, a video, like for my YouTube channel, of what's going on and what's going, like, where what things are happening while I'm out there. Um, oh, yeah, we can knoll here. Uh, our last bag here. Um, so I'll definitely do that. Um, so you can kind of see what's going on with me. Um, 
when I'm out uh, at San Diego Comic Con. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know exactly what when any. That's all. That's all TBD. Uh, what I'm gonna do? I'll probably do like a bonus stream. I'll probably do three streams the week after. I'll do a bonus stream of just a regular old stream of whatever. Like uh, when I am uh, back that following week. Oh, actually, I will, because I'll be back. That following week will be when I do my game stream. Uh, so I will do three days in a row. I'll do Thursday, normal stream, 26th. 27th will be a, what's going, you know, like playing games with y'all. And then uh, the 27th will, or 28th will be a regular game stream. And then I'll, of course, be giving away a kit at that. Um so I will do three the following week. I'll definitely make a bonus game stream will be. And maybe I'll do another like, let's hang out, not building stream. Just to chill with y'all, give you some stuff. And then also, peek behind the curtain, bump up my numbers, which will have lowered by me not streaming my regular two days a week streaming. I will be very negatively affected by going so long to San Diego Comic-Con. When I go to uh, PAX West, I will definitely be doing a build stream while I'm out there. I don't know the exact dates of that, but I will definitely be streaming. It might be something where like I stream like Saturday afternoon or something. Um, but I'm definitely going to stream when I'm out there because I'll be in Airbnb uh, that hopefully the Wi-Fi is good enough that I can do it. If And also, since it's like a one-bedroom I should theoretically be able to get access to the router easily and just have a wired connection. But yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, I hope that that stream works well enough that when I'm at, you know, when I when I can, I will stream and keep as normal a schedule as possible. That is my promise to y'all because I know that it's fun. A lot, a lot of people like, you know, like plan out their weeks on their the people that they watch stream. And so they want consistency. And so I'm trying to give that to folks. That's my goal. It's like, oh, it's absolutely necessary. I don't work on Thursdays and I don't work on Saturday unless I 100% have to. Um, but yeah, uh, I might, yeah, I might do a little something extra when I come back that week. We'll see. Maybe, I, maybe I'll do a little bit more. But yeah, uh, when I'm in San Diego, at the very least, Y'all get some uh, some info on what's going on with me out there. It'll be my first time at San Diego Comic Con, so I will hopefully have a lot to say about what's going on out there and what I'm doing. Do some interviews and some stuff for Oni. I will be on Oni's YouTube. Uh, I'll definitely be on Oni's Twitch probably every day. Uh, not Twitch. Uh, sorry, their Twitter, not Twitch. Or I'm Twitch now. Uh, they have a Twitter account. Uh, I, we submitted a panel. I don't know if it got in. I legitimately don't know if it got in or not. They're still announcing panels. There's a total chance that we got, we're got. we going to get to do something. Um, and there's also a chance we won't at all, uh, which would be a bummer. But I'll, of course, let everyone know if it looks like I'm doing anything cool with Oni. Uh, but at the very least, we'll be doing some videos like we did when I was at Emerald City Comic Con. And that should be pretty fun. But yeah, uh, Oni Press's Twitter account. You should follow that uh, sometime this month as we get closer to it. Um, yeah. And... Um, I'm going to knock on... Mm, I don't know. And I have no wood near me. Oh, okay. Knock on wood on the floor. Knock on wood. I have heard no fireworks this evening. Um, I have to just hope and assume that everyone used all their fireworks yesterday and got it all out of their system. Because uh, I don't need to hear any more fireworks. They're fine. I like them just fine. But I'm definitely over fireworks. For another year. Definitely do without it. Yeah, but yeah, uh, I'm excited uh, leading into uh, doing some uh, traveling. 
you know, definitely always interested in getting some traveling done. Okay, so then we got to put more decals on. We're putting more decals on, folks. It's decal time on this resistance pod. All right. Okay. And we'll just kind of look at that. That goes like that. But yeah. Um, San Diego is definitely happening. Um, I have not heard if I am 100% guaranteed for August to be volunteering for... Um, FlameCon, I put in my application to do that. Um, as we get closer, to, if we get towards the end of July and I haven't heard from them, I'll reach out and be like, hey, when do you announce when your uh, people are getting in? Blah, blah. Because I definitely want to volunteer for that. It's totally worth my time and energy to do that and help people out. So hopefully I get to do that. Because um, I think it would be very worthwhile. Um, and then... Video games killed fireworks. Um, yeah, you just play every extend extra. And then you, you don't need to... You get all the fireworks you need. Um, I was going to say, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah. So then, then it's... After that is PAX West. I'll be going to that... Um, I get in on Thursday. I leave Monday night. So I get back. So the hope is to do at least one stream from out there. I will certainly do a check-in hangout if I don't do a build stream. But the hope is to at least do a build stream while I'm out there. Bring a kit with me to build. Um, I've got a little kit that shouldn't take too long to do. Maybe just an hour that I'll bring out with me to do um, while I'm out there. Um, and, uh, and then October is New York Comic Con. I don't know right now, New York Comic Con, no idea, uh, if I'm, do what I'm doing there, if I'm going to do anything there. Um, the folks I normally do stuff with are not going, apparently, so I might actually, like, work a booth a little bit, we'll see. I'm in talks with somebody, so that way I get a badge. So I might do a day's worth of work and then go back another day and hang out. But we'll see. Maybe. Not sure. And then I'll at least have some shows that weekend. That'll be the first shows I have in a while. I haven't had any live performances in a bit, but I expect to have some live performances during that. So that'll be good. some Comic-Con. Uh, the hope is to do, uh, like I did last year, the um, another... What am I trying to say? The words are not coming out of my head right. I apologize. Um, oh, I want to I do another uh, post-mortem. But comic book author's post-mortem. Because that was really fun to do at um, uh, last year. So I'm going to hopefully do that again. Okay, so we put that on. This comes off very easy. So you can get in there um, for whatever this does. Put that there. Some more decals. Pretty easy to put on. Now we've got this tubing bit that looks weird. These pieces feel odd. And then the one that's that one. And then there's a larger one. Easy to tell these apart. The last kit we did, the Y-Wing, had pieces like this that were just slightly larger. And that was annoying. Because that, yeah, that didn't fit quite right. And then put that on like that. This feels like a weird, this is weird. Just like this tubing just feels odd. I don't know. Feels like a strange for Legos. But whatever, we'll get that together. Um, yeah, so then after, um, New York Comic Con, which is, like I said, still a bit up in the air about what I'm going to be doing while I'm there, um, I, uh, will be doing some shows, hopefully UCB, but probably, 
nothing at the actual convention, but maybe I'll go and work it a little bit. Um, when that's done, then uh, we'll be uh, just the end of the year going to, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's after that? Oh, after that, we'll just be uh, PAX Unplugged, which I still have not submitted anything for because I was focusing on, on PAX West submissions. Now I should focus on PAX Unplugged submissions, get some stuff together for that. Had not Have not done that yet, as I said have to do that get some ideas going for that do some panels there because i really like packs unplugged it was a great time and uh that's a fun city philly's a fun city and i was happy to go there and they uh they don't quite know a lot about uh they, did, they didn't know we we were coming so airbnbs were still reasonable i bet they shoot up a little bit this year just because people will know but still not too bad, I bet. We'll see. Maybe it'll be bad, but I bet it won't be. It'll take another year, hopefully, for people to find out that they want to go. Or that they can charge a lot more because people want to come and don't want to stay in hotels. Um, all right. Like I said, this is a weird tubing thing. Uh, so we got to do this. We got to put this. All right, and then we put that there. Hmm. Oh, shoot. Missed a little two-piece here. I was going to say, that didn't feel right. Having exposed there. All right, and then this goes on like this. And then this goes, oh, this goes on and around. We're going to put some pegs on here. All right. And then this, these all fit on here. Look at that. That looks cool. This is looks very different than... Uh, other kits that we have built on here. And then this goes on like that. Not sure what this does yet, but we'll find out. Hmm. Uh, actually, all right. So uh, we'll find out what that does uh, on Saturday because I'm actually going to wrap up for tonight. Um, I got a text of something I got to take care of. So I'm going to go take care of that. I uh, didn't get the full two hours. I do apologize for that. Uh, Saturday, I'm going to make plans to just be here and ready to go on Saturday the whole time for y'all. Uh, so I apologize for that. I'm wrapping up a little early. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you tune in this Saturday at 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you're not following and you can't give money, at least give a follow. Tell people about the streams. Retweet when I tweet about it on Saturday. The archive will be up tomorrow for folks that didn't catch like the beginning or you know had to leave early or whatever that is. But I want to thank you for joining me. I apologize once again for all the drop frames tonight. The archive will not have that. And um, thank you for uh, uh, hanging out. Harold, have a great evening. Um, but yeah, uh, I take it easy, and I will see you on Saturday. Bye-bye.